Rejoice, highly favored one. This is for you all. Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and men. Do not fear, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive in your womb and bring forth all that was deposited from God. That means even men. What God has put in you. Okay? You are going, what he has deposited on the inside of you. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. For with God, nothing is impossible. With God, nothing is impossible. What he has conceived in you will leap at the sound of his name. What he has conceived in you will leap at the sound of his name. That is why when we worship and we give him our heart, everything that is within us, your spirit starts to leap at the sound of his name. And you cry out, Jesus, 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 right? And you can literally feel something inside of you leap up. And it's your spirit that is so alive and so hungry for the more of his presence. And it's saying yes. It's saying yes at the sound of his name. It's leaping within you. He is leaping within you. So as you proclaim his name, even in worship, as you proclaim his name, Jesus, 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 heaven's choir. It's like, oh, this is how I see it. This is what he showed me. It's like heaven's choir rushes in to fill the surroundings. So like the surroundings here and the surroundings on the inside of you, it's like heaven's choir rushes in and fills you. He completely fills you and takes you up higher in the arms of your maker. Heaven I mean, worship shouldn't just be we sing songs and we're kind of looking around and we're wondering how many times she's going to sing that line over and over and is it most of the time. Really, we should really get more and more engaged by saying, Lord, teach me how to worship. When you come to worship, ask him, teach me how to worship in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. There is more that we can receive that he wants to give us. So immerse yourself with heaven's symphony. How about that? Amen. Immerse yeah. yourself with heaven's symphony. I know us up here, we get lost in heaven's symphony, right? Like I'm looking at the other worship leader, right? We just get lost in heaven's symphony. We're just like, you know, if it wasn't just for some practicality's sake, we probably just would go on and on and on and on. <laughs> But I feel that the Lord delights in that. He wants us to just be so immersed in that. That's where real change happens anyways. So let his sound envelop you. Let it just kind of come and cocoon you. When you come, ask him, teach me how to worship. We don't have it figured out. We know in part, but he knows the whole, the whole picture. So Father, teach me how to worship. I ask him that. I don't have the corner market on that. Teach me how to worship. I think that's important, don't you? Amen. So what he has, remember now I was reading through Luke 1, 28 through 45, and this is what I got. What he has conceived, he will birth. He's conceived something on the inside of you, on all, in for all of us, and he's going to bring it to birth. He's going to bring it to life. He's gonna, it's going to be that time and space when it's now. Time to give birth. Now the season changes, and it's now. The, the light turns green. Now the page turns. Now, right? So give space. Our job is to give space for his deposit, what he's deposited, that dream, that hope, that desire, what he has deposited. Give time and give space for that to come alive and to actually be birthed. There's a season, there's a time and a space for it. Then, at the sound of his spirit, he will birth heaven's masterpiece out of you. Don't weary in the waiting, because in that time period, so many beautiful things are happening on the inside of you. But at that 
appointed time, the masterpiece, what he has been doing, is going to come out. And you'll be so happy. And people will be in awe of her. How? Wow. What happened to that person? How did they get, what, how did they learn that? How did they get there? It's in the season when no one could see, but it was burnt in the inside of you, and you knew something was stirring, and you just said yes to him. You just said yes, and you kept on going. Though it wasn't apparent on the outside, you just knew that you knew, God has deposited something on the inside of me, and I'm not going to let it go. I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to contend. I'll be patient, but I'm going to contend. Does this make sense? Yes. When he puts a dream in you, when yes. he puts a desire in you, and he's working it, he's working it out, then it goes on, he went on to, to tell me, only believe. Blessed is she, slash he, who believes. For there will be a fulfillment of those things which were spoken to you from the Lord. There will be a fulfillment of those things that were spoken to you from the Lord. Blessed is the man and woman who believes. Only believe. We have to believe. No matter what comes against us, we must believe. No matter the opposition, no matter all the trials, no matter the opposite spirit that's coming against us, and we, of course we understand it's gonna, but we must believe that what God has said is gonna come to pass, is gonna come to pass. No if, no ands, and no buts. It will come to pass. Mary received because she believed. She received because she said it. She had a yes in her spirit. A yes. Oh, Lord, help us. He will bring to pass what he has whispered in your heart. What has he whispered in your heart? Sometimes it's a whisper. Sometimes it's a shout. Sometimes it's so loud. But what about the whispers? But you heard it. You caught it. You caught it. Those whispers. Don't negate. Don't belittle. Don't forget. Remember. Remember what he's told you. He will bring to pass what he has whispered in your heart. When your heart cried out to him, Abba, while your soul ached with pain and loss and devastation. While your soul ached. But he's going to bring to pass what he whispered in your heart. You have been marked with heaven's approval. Every one of you, you've been marked with heaven's approval. You just have to believe it. You just have to agree with it. Say, I have been marked with heaven's approval. I have been touched by the wind of his spirit. Come on. Have you been touched by the wind of his spirit? I know I have. I know I have. Ignited with his fierce love. It's fierce. It is so fierce. Do you ever stop and think about that? His eyes are ablaze with fire. It's a good fire. And he looks at you with this fierce love. I just, I'm in awe when I think about the fierce love of God. Because what he's deposited on the inside of me, he's going to have it come to pass. All I have to do is focus, focus on his beautiful face, the promises that he gave me, and know that his eyes are fierce with love for me. Of course the opposition. That's why we cry out, Abba! Abba, Abba, Father, Abba. But yet my eyes will be fixed upon you. No matter what. Ruined for the ordinary. Captivated for his love. That's what we gotta be. Sold out. Sold out and marked out once. Are we sold out and are we marked out?